first in Dagenham, a house that's been recently vacated but has not been emptied. The council has to make sure that a new tenant can move in, and the task falls to Tony Macy. Another one with delights inside, I suppose, that we've got to clear out and uh, refurbish the pro property. Well, another one full up with stuff. The previous tenants didn't seem to hang around to say goodbye. Televisions stuck everywhere, old cupboards. Just makes me wonder why nobody takes anything away with them. All this must once have been of value to someone, but not anymore. Looking man, there's probably not a lot that you'd want to take, but at the end of the day, somebody's possessions and they've been living with it, just seems strange that they want to leave it all. Most people agree having a telly is essential. But how many do you need? Looks like he was a bit of a television buff. Well, that's enough for the time being. I'll have a little look in the kitchen now. It's, it's just totally trashed. It's filthy, the floor coverings are filthy. They're using an old table that's absolutely chipped and cut the bits. I mean, I just couldn't live like it. It's always a case of what's really valuable. Take doors. In this borough, we seem to have a black hole where doors disappear. We, for some unknown reason, nobody wants a door on. I've been to loads of properties, you don't find a door in the house. Now, the bathroom's right next door. This one was obviously going to go in the black hole because it's... It's hanging off. They just haven't got time to take it off and get rid of it. Stairs are a different matter. Remove these and the house might fall down. Right, we'll have a look in the master, the master bedroom. Things get worse, this is a uh, jam full of stuff again. Another two televisions. No surprise here. Absolutely smashed to pieces. Bedroom two. This looks like a, an older Joel's bedroom. And now we can see why we've got so many tellies. I was obviously um, a DVD fan. Cupboard doors have disappeared in this room. It, it just, it's just beyond belief why people just want to remove doors all the time. I can't see the purpose. So I suppose we better have a look at bedroom three and see if that one's any worse. Obviously the door's off, that was going somewhere. Two more televisions. So I think we've now got a total of, I think there's about seven televisions. They're all old, they're all no good. There's a lot of signs of children here as well, so it was probably a family that were in here. So why did they suddenly drop everything and leave? It could be hundreds of different reasons. A lot of it is family breakup. So if you can get to the source of it and try and stop it before it happens, we get a lot more properties that are in better condition. And we don't have to spend so much money and do so much work. Back in Dagenham, the clean team have decided there's nothing of value in the abandoned council house. Gary and Luke know what to do. This house is full of furniture, but can't be described as fully furnished. It's all got to go. Well, we'll try and get all the bulk stuff, from like the settees and the beds and things like that first. Out will go the furniture, then there's the video collection, not one, but two microwave ovens, and all those televisions. Wherever we go, it's either TVs or more electrical equipment. Right, yeah. TV. Three so far, I think. Oh, I reckon there's going to be around about eight or ten. We found uh, car radios and all sorts in, in the bottom of the cupboard. Oh. That's number six. Number seven. What is a loft for if it's not to hold even more rubbish? It's absolutely it's full, full up with loads and loads of just clothes, books, loads of electronic equipment. Specialist removers might do it differently. When the TV doesn't work, get another one. But to have eight. More electrical. You said there was a lot out there, wouldn't you expect this much? Lofts can be bigger than you think. It's sort of junk, basically. Instead of binning it, they'd stick it up in the loft.
the new tenants may restrict themselves to two or three televisions, but it'll be home. Hold on. And it could be years before another team has to carry out this task all over again.